I ended up in regulatory in 2006, more or less by vote, because I was uh, from an educational standpoint. I'm, I'm a veterinarian um, and I was working with a medical device company when I was a student and did some animal trials with them. And finally they asked me if I would like to work for them and supporting them for new trials. Um, and finally I ended up with the regulatory and clinical department. I like the international aspect very much, um, also the, the work with the authorities, so it's every day a little bit different. So even if you uh, prepare an application for one or the other country, it's never the same. It might look the same in the first, on the first view, but it's never, and I really like to, yeah, to find out how we get the product on the market. It's still the case that regulatory is very rarely an educational profession. It's more or less that you get somehow in touch with it. Um, and when I was a student, I've never thought about regulatory affairs, either in pharmaceuticals or in, in devices. Um, but I think uh, if people come from the university uh, with a background of engineering or clinical aspects, it's definitely a very interesting field to combine different aspects on developing products, improving products, bringing them to international markets. So uh, I think whenever people have a chance to look into it, it's definitely a field they should just check out. It's very nice to interact and to network with international uh, professionals. And I think this is something Reps can definitely offer. And I'm very happy that I can support the European uh, profession, professionals at the moment and trying to get Reps more involved in the European market. I think regul the regulatory affairs people it's not the same, of course, than sales. So it's it's a really specific work you are doing, and it's it's really you support sales or also marketing, and you you are responsible for doing the first steps that they can take over at some point. So they sometimes do not understand how difficult it is to get product on the market for them. So there's constantly a little conflict, but I'm really trying to teach them a little bit to understand what effort it is for us to provide them the next step to take over. And I think having the opportunity, uh, the possibility to work with other professionals from different countries, the, the, the issue is probably the same in most of the companies, but it really helps um, that between the regulatory people, there is a common understanding of that and it makes it much easier.